Hey guys, today I am going to show you a step-by-step -step process of how to execute a seller finance deal and I'm going to be using a real property example. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You're watching Holton Wise TV. I'm James Wise, and this is the show where I work with you guys one-on-one -on -one to help you start, build, or grow your real estate portfolio. Today, I am working with my man, Jay, repeat client of ours. And folks, quickly... If you want to work with me and my team in the same way Jay is doing, you could send us an email, sales at HoltonWise.com. Give us your phone number. My team will give you a call, explain the process to you, or you can click the show notes below for more information. Now, Jay, brother, seller financing. You have uh, worked with me in the past, and you're like, hey, man, what, what, what can we do with seller financing, right? Let's do some seller financing deals. So uh, I scoured the market, and I found you some seller financing examples. I'm going to be going over three seller finance deals for you. I'm going to do one for you in this video, and then when I'm done filming this video, I'm going to do the other two for you, and then I'll shoot you an email with all three of them, right? So the first seller finance deal that I've got for you is going to be this duplex here. 3309 West 127th, Cleveland, Ohio, 44111. It's been on the market for over 60 days, and it's priced at $110,000. Now, the first thing I want to explain to you, Jay, is this is overpriced, right? And this is something that you might see. This is kind of common uh, when people are offering seller finance deals, right? The first thing, I guess, before we even get into the property, what we should, like, explain for anybody who's watching this, right, uh... When people sell or finance, guys, that means they're become, they become the bank, right? So, like, if you were to buy a $100,000 duplex, right, and then you got your own lender, right, you'd put down $25,000 in cash, the lender would fund $75,000 of that, and then the seller would walk away, you know, with that full hundred thousand dollars minus closing costs, of course, right? In a seller finance scenario, what the seller would do is you would put up your down payment. So if it was a 25% down, down payment, in that scenario, you would still come at $25,000. And instead of uh, the seller walking away with the other $75,000, you would just pay the seller a monthly mortgage in the same way you'd pay your bank, right? That's a seller finance deal, right? So that's, that's number one. So when sellers decide to do seller financing, guys, it's usually for a few reasons, right? Because obviously, if you had the option of me giving you a dollar a day for 365 days or me just giving you $365 right now, you're going to take the $365 right now. It makes more sense, right? So cash is better from a seller's perspective. But every once in a while, you get sellers who want to do the financing, okay? And the reasons are going to be a few, right? Number one, maybe their property is so distressed, so screwed up, banks can't really finance it, right? You might have a property that needs a ton of repair work, right? Not the case here. Option number two is what we have here. The seller's trying to get more money out of their property than they could in a regular sale, right? This seller, they're trying to sell their property for $110,000. This property is not worth $110,000. It's worth less. It's worth about ninety. dollars okay? Now, they're trying to extract more money. They want to get more money on the front end, and then they want to get paid more money with all the interest, all the interest piling up, okay? So they're trying to, to get more money from the buyer pool, right? You get a lot of people that they enter the real estate space. They enter the rental property space, guys, because they want to earn more money slowly over the uh, the long haul, right? But then sometimes you get people that they realize being a landlord is tough. And if you don't believe me, check out the Tenants from Hell show, right? I'll put the links to that in the show notes, right? It's tough. It's tough business being a landlord. So sometimes you get sellers like, oh, screw this, dude. I don't want to do a tenants, but maybe I could make that additional long-term wealth uh, by getting more money than my properties are actually worth, right? That spread right there between the real value of my property, what I paid for my property, and how much I'll get by being the bank, that's their profit, right? That's their business model, right? I think that's the situation we have here, okay? Now, this particular property it's you know it's just a, a standard duplex nothing amazing uh nothing special about it eh, like i said it's worth about ninety thousand dollars okay 
There's your hot water tanks. Uh, this white one looks to be a little bit older than this one. This one's probably only a few years old. This one's probably close to 10, just so you're aware. They last approximately 15 years. They cost $1,000 to replace. Two updated electric panels. That's great. And you got two furnaces. These some bitches are old, okay, just so you know. Uh, these probably at least 40, 50, 60 years old, okay? Uh, it costs approximately $3,000 to replace furnaces. Now, these two furnaces are working, so you don't have to do that, right? What you want to do, right? Because if you get a home inspection on this home, what your home inspector is going to tell you is going to say, hey, these furnaces are past their useful life. Recommend you have a licensed HVAC technician look into them. You don't have to do that, right? I'm going to tell you right now, they're old. They're past their useful life. They're like 40, 50 years old. While they're working, you just let them continue to work. The moment one goes down, you don't pay an HVAC tech a few hundred bucks to fix it. You just pay $3,000 to replace it. That's what you'd want to do, okay? So that's a little pro tip for you, right? So just up. You know, run-of-the-mill standard duplex, right? Nothing wrong with it except for it ain't worth 110000 right? As far as the rents go, twelve seventy five comes in, 15300 a year, right? twelve seventy five a month. Using normal metrics, right, of that 15300 you're going to spend approximately 8760 leaving you with an NOI of 6540 Nothing magical, nothing special, right? Here in comes the seller financing. This is where things get good, right? This is how I like to do seller finance deals. And by the way, I do a lot of seller finance deals, guys. I would say, because, you know, Holton Wise, we have a very large platform. People see Holton Wise TV. Uh, we have a huge, you know, 60 million plus portfolio in the Cleveland market. We got thousands of tenants. I got probably 20... 25 trucks on my fleet at this point in time driving around town either my maintenance trucks or my leasing trucks right so like we're the biggest gig in town right our signs are everywhere right so people know us they know who we are so people approach me uh with the opportunity uh to buy their properties via seller financing because i'm a safe bet for them i'm like the i'm like basically like you know instead of putting your money in a savings account uh, you get a higher return by putting it in like a CD or something. They consider that to be uh, what I am. So uh, I do a lot of seller financing deals. So I'm very familiar with how it works, the best ways to negotiate with these sellers and, and things of that nature. And I found the best way to negotiate with sellers is to give them what they ultimately want, which is more money than their property's worth, but you do it over the long haul and you got to explicitly explain how much they're getting paid uh, and break it down so they can see like, oh, I really am getting a lot of money. So you kind of want to show them, not necessarily the purchase price, but you want to show them what they're ultimately going to get paid, okay? So for this seller, right, they're trying to get $110,000. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. So what I think you need to do is go to HoltonWise.com, right? You go to the Tools in the Resources tab, and I want you to click on our handy-dandy mortgage calculator, okay? And this is what I would like to do. I would like to see you buy this property for what it's worth. Remember, I told you it's worth 90 It ain't worth 110 But the seller's trying to get more money than what it's worth. But I think you could still pick it up with that financing for what it's worth. So I want you to buy it for 90 And instead of putting down 25%, I want you to only put down 10 grand, okay? I only want to see you put down 10 grand. That means you're going to ask that seller to give you an $80,000 mortgage. And what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to get it over 30 years and make it attractive for the seller, right? So we're going to go ahead and give the seller a 5% interest payment, right? Because you ain't going to get a seller to be happy about uh, a 30-year note where they're only making 3% return, right? So then our handy-dandy chart pops this up, right? It shows you... You know, your monthly payment shows you what portion goes to principal, what portion goes to interest, right? You guys could use this when you're underwriting your deals. So your payment would be four twenty nine forty six. But this right here is key, right? Total of three hundred sixty payments. That's hundred and fifty four thousand six hundred four sixty three. Plus, don't forget, you're putting up 10 grand, right? So when we negotiate this offer with the seller, we're not going to focus on like, hey, Mr. Seller, you want 110, I'll give you 90. No, 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 no. We're going to focus, hey, Mr. Seller, you want 110, we'll give you $164,604.63 over 360 months, right? And that works out for everybody. The seller's happy because like, oh, shit, my property's only worth... 
My property's only worth 90. I'm going to try to extract 110. I'll offer financing. But then this guy's coming in there offering me 165. I'm making a ton of money, right? And here's how that would lay out for you because it still makes you a lot of money, right? You buy it for 90, okay? Uh, with our NOI that I've calculated earlier, 6540, that's our average NOI. It's 73 cap, nothing wrong there. You put down $10,000 with the $80,000 in financing we just talked about after you uh, minus out your 429 payment. That's $116 a month in cash flow, $1,392 a year, which you only put down 10 Gs, so that's a 13.9% estimated cash on cash return. What that is, is that is a win win for everybody. You get to get in and get a property with an incredibly low down payment, number one. Number two, you didn't even have to pay more than market rate. It just all had to do with how we negotiated with the seller and how we packaged everything so the seller's very happy. And you know what else, guys? This is a great strategy to utilize if you're a foreign national, right? You know, regular U.S. people, you guys get that 25% down loan from our lenders, right? If you need you know, help with lending and you want to talk to our lenders, send us an email, sales at holtonwise.com. Give us your phone number. We'll give you the info, right? But Foreign nationals, we have lenders for you guys too, same way, you get the info the same way, but they don't typically write you guys those really nice 30-year loans, so it's it's harder for foreign nationals to go ahead and, and get finance. So seller financing is a great option for, for foreign nationals. Now, one other thing I want to really make clear to you, Jay, is, is seller finance deals, this is a great deal. I think we should move forward uh, based upon the plan of attack I just laid out, but know that you got to move quick when these seller finance deals pop on the market because there's not a lot of them, right? Now, I understand that's been on the market for 60 days, but maybe they decided to offer seller financing later. I don't know if they've been offering it the entire time. They could have seen they couldn't get that 110, and then they decided to offer the seller financing to entice more buyers. That's one thing, but the, the fact remains, there's not going to be a lot of seller finance deals on the market on any given time. So what you guys can do, another way I can help you guys stay ahead of the curve, right, is you go to the property search for sale tab on HoltonWise.com. We got our various shows, right? Investment properties for sale show, the show you're watching right now, MLS search analysis show, but we also have real-time MLS access. And right there at the top of that is access to all the seller finance deals, right? We have set this up where you get a direct MLS feed of any deal where the sellers are offering finance. And the moment they go on the market, you can reach out to those sellers directly. Yes, if you want, you can still get my take and you can still work with my team to help you buy it. But if you kind of know what you want and you just want to negotiate one-on-one -on -one with that actual owner, well, I've given you guys all the data to do so. So if you're interested in seller finance, single-family homes, $49.99, the access is yours. Also did it for multifamilies, two to four units. And then I did it for apartment buildings, right? So that, folks is how you do a seller finance deal. That's how you negotiate a seller finance deal. And then, of course, after this one closes my team, we can handle the property management, maintenance, repairs, all that jazz. We'll be able to get the actual contract drawn up through attorney referrals. We do the whole nine free, right? One-stop shop. So, Jay, let me know what your thoughts are on this seller finance deal. And what I'm going to do now is film your other two videos. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.